Get a triple bevel after all. Out of control, and it's going to be an offensive foul. Well, you know what? Those guys in the white uniforms weren't feeling that way, and they've kind of showed it today. Mitchell Watt just crushed Rodriguez Sherman with a pick that he never saw. And Sherman is down, and we'll show it to you again. It happened right in front of us, if you, and we saw Watt just crush Rod Sherman. And this is kind of indicative of what's happened today, and I bring that up because this is a thing that drives coaches absolutely insane. When you're asking a player like uh, Rodriguez Sherman right there to go put pressure on, someone has to call out that screen. You can't let one of your guys get blindsided like that because it's just your whole defense is based on trust. And now right now, if you're on that yellow team, you're out of your mind because someone let him down, and that's why he's laying there. There's no one up there even warning him that this thing was coming. And when you got your back to it, you are completely blindsided. Here's a better angle. Bang! Rodriguez Sherman uh, top of the zone and allowing him to penetrate. That's nearly knocked it away from Medlock. Works his way into the paint and then threw it right into the lap of Watt. Big man's running the floor with Pierce. Oh, can't let that happen. That's got to happen in grade school and nowhere else. Big flush down low by Watt. One of the top in the Mid-American Conference in that area. Gave it up to Justin Green. That would have counted had it gone. That's going to be a blocking foul. That's going to go on Mitchell Watt. And Justin Green is going to the Kent State free throw strike. And it's like Groundhog's Day. Singletary on the nice dish right there. But he's one of these guys that has his hands involved with the basketball at all times. He's... <laughs> Charge. Devin Oliver just left his feet. Got to learn it. Dribble into the paint. Got to come to a jump stop. You can't jump. See, right there, jump stop and pass. Leaves your feet. The veteran Watt, the senior, steps right in and takes the charge. Against the sophomore. That's a heady play by Watt. Start half number two. They look to be the same that uh, began at Kent State. Turns it over up for him. Trey Ziegler will attack the bucket. Uh-uh, wave that off. That's an offensive foul. He's looking up. He's going to take it all the way to the hoop, no question. And there's Watt coming over there, planting himself, taking the charge. Oh. Nice move. Oh. oh, and he gets blocked on the way up. We've got a timeout, a 13-point lead. And there you see him right there. Let's take one more look. Call it yourself. Oh, Bill, I don't know. That looked like a pretty good block. Yeah, actually. <laughs> that looked like a pretty good block.